Well, my name is Andrea. I'm an EFT practitioner here in England. And I had really an amazing weekend because there's no better way or different way to say it. For the last four years, I've been literally struggling to trying to resolve my gagging problem. I mean, talk about problems. What happened was I had no idea that I would even be privileged enough to do some work on it. What happened was when I first discovered it was when I go cycling with my husband and we've been doing so for the last four years, out of the blue I would have this horrific gagging reflex. It would come from nowhere and I had no idea what it was all about. The first inkling I had on what it, where it could come from was when I actually went on a course where they talked about phobias and I watched somebody literally having you know, their, their arms pumped up like you do when you give blood. And what I actually realized is that I was tied down, sounds really bizarre. And when I went and asked my mom, she said, well, they did that when you were a year old and ate a mercury thermometer. And I thought, what? I knew about this mercury story, but to me it was, well, it's a story. I survived it. I was a year old. I ate mercury a thermometer and I survived and that was it. I actually, even though I'm a therapist, did not realize to, how horrific that experience actually was. Now, and I even get a lump now, but what actually happened was that once I noticed that, I thought, great, I've got something to work with. And in order to get rid of it, I went to a friend who was doing hypnotherapy and she helped me to start breathing because not only was I gagging, I couldn't even breathe. And when I said I was like choking, I really meant it. And sometimes it was sitting here, sometimes even further, sometimes I had to stop. Well, I could start relaxing, but the gagging reflex just carried on. And I cannot tell you how destroying it is because there you cycling really fast and next moment my husband luck bless him he already knew because he would stop and he knew however long it took me to calm down and I just I mean I'm a healthy person I don't know where it came from but anyhow and then what happened was I really became determined I want to get rid of it and I started over the years doing more and more I tried, tried kinesiology and it was each time just a bit here and a bit there, but it just somehow didn't shift it. And each time I got disappointed, I tried acupuncture. And what happened was when the woman sort of tried to work on my throat, she realized, oh God, we can't go there because she could see she was losing me. In fact, one of the kinesiology sessions, I got so drawn in, I just wanted to leave because I actually had a memory where when, when this all happened, the doctors tried so hard to save me that I actually just wanted to leave. And they said I was in a coma and they thought I was going to die. And my mom, you know, confirmed all these things. And what happened was, I just didn't trust that this poor woman knew how to bring me back because I didn't know, I just wanted to leave. It, the pain and the memory was horrible. So no matter what I tried, I tried traditional EFT, I've tried NLP, I've tried body spin. Each one of those did some little bit, but it never was quite it. I still had it and it became soul destroying. I'm a therapist, I'm supposed to prove things do work. Anyhow, um, I came onto this course and my golly, I was fortunate enough to be chosen and even just talking about it at the course, I promise you I was already choking up. And when Robert chose me, I thought, wow. I mean, I was petrified, but I thought, wow. So I go to the front and I said, hey, you better make sure you've got a bucket. And I could see the first row of people. They were absolutely horrified and I was quite embarrassed. but. As I was sort of, um, you know, even thinking about it, I could feel myself really getting tense. And I must admit, what an unbelievable experience it was. And I'll tell you why. Because I never felt unsafe, even though it was a horrific experience. I was only a year old. It was really an awful experience because I nearly did die. And what happened was that Robert really took me in and out and I, I don't know how else to explain it and I'm sure he's got better words but it felt he put me in there to heal a little bit more or work with it a little bit more bring me out into safety take me in again and one of the things I remember the most about the session was you know when he because all I wanted to do was curl up and, and literally I didn't want to do anything and he kept on saying to me come on chin up chin up and it was hard I cannot tell it was hard but yet it was actually the easiest I've ever had because all these other times it became so painful I just couldn't work on that deep level and my god we worked on it and it was phenomenal because not only was I able at the end of it put a whole pencil in my mouth he could put his hands around my throat and it was no problem and trust me you would never have seen that before and what actually happened was and that was really amazing I made my husband get up at quarter to five in the morning he said we have to go for a bike ride we have to test it 
Now, even my husband knows cold weather, you know, and fast cycling, lots of liquids before normally brings it on and there was nothing. It was absolutely amazing. In fact, for the first time in four years, I could even put my helmet um, strap so close again, which I couldn't have done before. Sometimes I couldn't even wear my helmet strap because it literally brought it on, this gagging reflex. And I promise you, I've been really trying. So I'm over the moon to have achieved something. I've been working for four years, so thank you so much. It was really an honor. Thank you.